Hi everyone. This weather really gives me lots of opportunity to talk with you and share such interesting information. I hope you're finding it interesting. And of course, now that I've discovered Facebook Live, I'm like a kid with candy, right? Um, every single day, I used to think, oh, I got to make a video, I got to write a blog, I got to do this, because things happen with my patients. And I think everyone could benefit from this information. And then I just never, ever got down to it. So let me share some interesting information with you about insulin. Insulin is a fat fertilizing hormone. It takes sugar and stores it as fat. It's as simple as that. Now you're going to say that diabetics um, need insulin if they're not making any, and that's absolutely accurate. However, diabetics have accelerated aging of their blood vessels, and many of them are 10 to 20 years older in their blood vessels, and that's why heart disease is one of the greatest risks of diabetics. It's not just about being diabetic. There are states preceding the actual diagnosis. Now remember that in conventional medicine, um, we wait for it to be broken before we fix it. So you'd have to be diagnosed as a diabetic before we can treat you. Uh, now there's pre-diabetes, and so it's like, go fix your diet, but then they have you follow the Canada Food Guide and regular diabetic ways of eating, which all still include carbohydrates and grains and substantial portions of sugar-inducing foods. Now, every time your blood sugar level rises, you release insulin. Insulin takes the blood sugar and stores it as fat and keeps your sugar level in a very narrow range. I've talked to you about insulin and sugar and cortisol before as well. So when your cortisol goes up and you're stressed and you're you know, driving in bad traffic or worrying about the mortgage or having a bad relationship or whatever it is, your cortisol goes up, you release insulin because your body is no different from caveman. And when you are running from a tiger, you have to release cortisol for energy and then the insulin goes, uh, the sugar goes up and so the insulin goes up because now you're releasing sugar for energy as well. Um, but I just wanna to talk to you about this first patient I saw this morning because she came in saying it's impossible to lose weight. She had been to other functional medicine clinics. She had tried every kind of diet. You know, the, the ultimate one was the Bernstein diet where she was on very low calories, taking shots. It was guaranteed to lose weight. And then she gained even more weight after that and was very, very frustrated because something happened to her metabolism and she just, absolutely couldn't couldn't trim the fat off no matter what and it was everything from diet to exercise to whatever so here's something because as part of the metabolic reset program i teach patients not to cheat i don't like that word it invokes some really negative feelings doesn't it like oh i'm cheating uh who likes to be a cheat really so why should we have that word in our vocabulary but anyway uh this patient from this morning when she started with us in march of last year she lost an entire clothing size or not lost but she went down an entire clothing size between march and may now this is from someone who said they cannot lose weight at all and she's never happy to step on the scale but her clothes were now loose on her after two months and at that time i measured her fat fertilizing hormone insulin and it was sitting at a level higher than I'm comfortable with. Now in Canada, our range for fasting insulin is zero to 120. How does that make sense? It means that if you're five or if you're 119, you're still normal. There's no such thing. You want your insulin to be within a specific range and that's what I go through in the one-on-one -on -one component of the Metabolic Reset Program. And I also teach you how to work with your doctor to analyze your own test results if you're not working with me. So that's what the Metabolic Reset 101 program is all about. That being said, her insulin was slightly 
no, not slightly. It was exactly double of what I'm comfortable uh, having a patient be at for insulin because it means that anytime she eats carbohydrates, she takes it and stores it at, as fat and she's in a fat storing mode more than not right because that's her fasting level so after she eats it goes up and we did test her after that and it does go up significantly when she uh, eats a carb of any kind and that's what we measured but here's the point Christmas came along New Year's came along and this patient decided that she just wanted a break from eating healthy so um, when completely off plan and this is why I say to you, I don't like the word cheating. If there are things you miss, find your substitutes and eat a little bit of it on a regular basis and know how each thing interacts with the other for your body fat percentage and your metabolism and your energy and your hormones and biochemistry. That's what will work with you on. Um, but that being said, she went completely off plan, um, back to her original clothing size, a, a size up. But here's what's interesting. She's back on plan now, and three weeks later, her insulin levels are still more than double. Her cholesterol is still elevated beyond what she had before. Um, and, and this is why I don't encourage cheating. You know, people say, I'm going to have a cheat day, or I'm going on holiday and I'm just gonna do whatever I want, and then when I come back, I'll fix it. You know. Don't do that. Find what works for you and find things that you enjoy and work toward being on an even keel. You know, I was talking to Mama Lindy this morning, my mother-in-law, my favorite person in the world, um, and, and I told you that she's doing the Metabolic Reset program. And, uh, and she was saying, you know, I have a piece of dark chocolate on my breaks at work and that's enough to sustain me. I would much rather her do that then eat an entire bar of chocolate once a week, all at once. So keep that in mind and remember that the, the Metabolic Reset 101 starts on Monday next week, January 15th. So message me. It's being live streamed to clients all over the world. Um, it'll be recorded and sent to you if you miss it. And the most important part about this is if you're in Calgary and you can make it in person, we're having that community and group um, program that gives even better results. So uh, I'll talk to you soon.